Welcome to the video! We are playing Underground 2 because nobody could make up their mind on what they wanted to see and I figured, you know what, fuck it, let's play Underground 2. I mean, Most Wanted gets a bunch of, like, game playthroughs or whatever on other people's channels, so we're gonna be a little different. I mean, I don't know how many people have played Underground 2, but it's a game that, like, it's fun to progress through, you know? I mean, it's all just car customization and stuff, but fuck it. Anyway, yeah, welcome to the video, guys. It's your boy, the great German Winter Foxer. And today, of course, we are playing Underground 2, Episode 1, the series. <laughs> uh, so, we're gonna start a new game. Career. <clears throat> start a new game, excuse me. Um... I kind of want to give my profile a stupid name, I just don't know what I should actually, like, call it. Um, like, what the hell would be funny, is the question. Oh my god. You fucking wires. This is a lot harder than it looks. You know, not having a PC to play all these games and emulate everything can be a real challenge. So having to do it old school and use, you know, a game capture and, you know, play on the actual consoles and everything can be a real challenge. Okay, so I can rock in my chair without any stupid annoyance. Thank God I needed to test that real quick. Alright, so seriously, what the hell should I name my character? Um... Shit. Oh, I know. I I got it. No! Damn it, I can't do it. I was gonna do Trump the best. Oh man. Um uh, Damn it, I I don't know what I should do. I need to I need to do something meme worthy. Um, hold on. No, I can't do it. Oh, this is making me mad. I need to. I need to think of freaking. <clears throat> you know what? Fuck it. Whoops. Daffy eats Damn it Eat Ass can't think of a meme, dude. Ah! Ow. My. Ball. <laughs> Ow, my ball. Ow, my ball! Alright, that's it. That's, that's the meme. That's gonna be the name of my character. Ah. I hope nobody gets motion sickness with me in the corner going like back and forth like this, but the thing is, I I I don't give a shit. Alright, I need to at least rock because I don't know. I've I've done it for a very long time and shit, you know, and it's just something I like to do. Did I mention that this chair is 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 two ninety nine? And it can also do this? Praise the sun! Yes! Well, oh well. 
Alright, so the introduction to the game is basically an R34, you know, doing cool stuff, kicking ass, street racing, uh, it's apparently legal in this world, uh, I don't really know how it works. Um, and then, you know, it, uh, just stuff happens and, uh, guy gets a random phone call on his cool computer, the guy goes like this. He's like, I'm gonna kick your ass. You come and race me. You think you're the best? I'll, I'll, I'll show you who's the best driver in this town, Sonny. You little piece of shit. You don't know shit about street racing like me. So anyway, yeah, he's just like, I'm gonna go get this guy and get my revenge. And then all of a sudden, he gets blinded by uh, H2 Hummer's headlights, spins out, and crashes like every ricer in existence. Yeah, everything's cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, okay, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all right? I understand that this is, this is the time period, but these are technically ricers, guys. And unfortunately, I have to go through this game being a ricer in order to succeed. Because if it were me, I would love to just drive my car stock, visuals, but performance, oh yeah. I mean look, I, I, I loved this game as a kid, but as I got older and started to realize that all the body kits and functionality of the parts on these cars weren't realistic and actually hurt the car's performance, I was like, I, I can't look at this game the same. I mean, it's just, it's heartbreaking. As much as I want an Underground 3, I'm also frightened by the fact that it could be a complete nightmare of either being what people want or absolute garbage and we'll never get an Underground 3 that will satisfy the old fans and the new fans who aren't into, you know, the crazy extreme stuff that is in Underground 2. So, you know, it's, it's a mix-up and I think that's why no one's thought of making an Underground 3 because the fact that all the body kits on the cars are ridiculous and I mean Jesus look at that Mustang it doesn't even look like a Mustang anymore it, uh, the wheels are so sucked into the car it looks like the car itself is is just like a fucking ice tray it, it's so weird it, I, I, I can't even explain it but you know what it's the time period it's alright we're just gonna have fun I'm, I'm gonna stop you know putting in car knowledge Let's just turn off our brains, you know, boop, you know, because we're all, you know, robots. Mm, boop, turn off your brains, and let's just enjoy Need for Speed Underground 2. I, I know how to play, let me drive. Let me drive. Dude, this game is so easy, let me drive. I don't care. I don't care, woman. Let me drive. Go! Drive! Jesus! Okay, so we're going to go to the thing that we should not do, and that is do some racing stuff. Wait. You know what? Fuck it. I know where they are on the map, so we're not going to even worry about it. See, what's funny is, as a kid, I didn't know that there were actual race events you could do in Rachel's car before you go to the car lot. So, I used to just always go to the car lot and think, oh yeah, this is the right way to go. But then, you know, later on, I was like, you know, watching YouTube videos one day, and it's like, oh yeah, you guys know that there's actual race events you could do before you go to the car lot, so you can get extra money? It's Jesus Christ. Well, Rachel's gonna be pissed off, because I just fucking totaled her car. Alright, so we got a circuit race. And it is, of course, my favorite track of the game because it's the easiest one. Plus, it's the most high-speed track in the entire game. By the way, I want to apologize if you guys can hear my AC in the background. I don't have an AC in my room anymore other than the one in my window now. So if you do hear the <laughs> sound, I'm really sorry. Anyway, let's get it on, yeah, look at me go, 
You know, I will admit though, Rachel's car doesn't look that bad. It's actually pretty decent looking. I think the tail lights are the only thing that I don't like about the car. How do I look backwards? The circle? Yeah, the, the, the headlights are fine. They're like the stock ones. Um, I mean, it's, it's not that bad of a car. It looks pretty cool. You know, it, the back end's a little weird. It looks like a fucking fat ass apple. Of course, I mean, <laughs> the, the 350Z did have a fat ass, and I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it. But like, with this specific bumper, you know, rear end or whatever, you know, it just, it looks really round and it, it looks funny. Especially with the car being green, it just reminds me of uh, Apple. A Granny Smith. I am driving a Granny Smith, guys. It is now the new and improved type of Apple that you can drive. The Granny Smith. Why, why isn't Apple made anything like that? We should have a new car that's green. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I've never wiped out that badly. Holy shit. Alright, go, 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 go. Man, I miss Underground too. You can like flip your car and shit. You can't do that shit anymore and fucking. So, well, actually, you know what? I, I take that back. You can do it and pay back. But, I mean. I don't know. It just. It looks funny in this game because of how old it is. I mean, the cars just like. They fly. The, you know, they actually move with the momentum that you were driving at. Not just like a simulated momentum that was kind of initiated initiated and added on into the game um, it, I don't know it just it just feels different and I think it's more realistic in my opinion like if you smash into a car and start rolling and you for speed payback it feels very unnatural you know it just feels like something that was inputted into the game to automatically happen when you wipe out really badly so I mean it, it's cool but it's just like it's cool when it's more natural as in like the car just bugs out and starts crazy rolling and sliding and hitting the wall like I was just doing. Like, you can't even really do that shit in peanut butter at all. It's kind of just animated to where you have a limited time of how many times you roll and stuff. So I think it's just done that way too, so that way it's easier to reset the cars or whatever. To where this game is like, oh yeah, if you fuck up, you know, you're, you're gonna have to just like reset yourself um, the game's like much easier nowadays but then again of course there's always the select button you can push that is if you're playing the ps2 oh wait never mind uh, looks like the select button doesn't work in underground too I know there's a select button in most wanted and you for speed carbon in which you can reset your car if you get stuck or something which I guess is kind of cool okay so, we are about to win this race because the finish line is right ahead. Yeah. Yes. We did it. 3 minutes and 22 seconds. What a new time. Alright, return to explore mode. I don't know how many races you can do without Rachel getting pissed off. I, I, don't, know, I, I don't know if there's a certain amount. Like, if the game just automatically takes you to the cutscene of the part where you pick a car, you know, like, I don't, I don't remember if that happens or not, but all I know is that you can race in her car for quite some time. Um, I have no idea what car I want to use in this game. I'm thinking I might go for an all-out SUV build, considering all the cars are pretty fast once you, like, get farther in the game. Um, it's either I'm gonna do a crazy ass SUV build or I might do a Mitsubishi G Mitsubishi 3000 GT as my car because I actually really like the Mitsubishi 3000 GT and um, uh, I actually didn't know that that was a car until this game and I was like you know th this car is freaking awesome um, there's also the Pontiac GTO, which um, a lot of people don't like. A lot of people think the Pontiac GTO, like the last one they made, is absolute like garbage because it looks like a sports car or something. It it doesn't bother me that much. I think it's a pretty okay looking car. I would rather have 
an older one though because you know classic cars are freaking awesome. Alright, we're gonna kick all these little shits his asses. That spoiler on your car slows you down, bruh. Stupid ass. Alright, we're going this way. Ah! Go ahead, the walls. We don't want to crash like all these stupid ricers do. Because we got to be the fast and the furious. So, yeah. Because nobody crashes in Fast and Furious. Everybody just goes through the walls like there is no wall there. We know how it works. Magic. That's how it is. Well, we just passed an Easter egg. It was a movie theater that said, now playing Need for Speed. Oh, God. Roll over. You fucking tortoise. Go, 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 go. What was that? Is that an Italian restaurant we just passed? Oh, look, tacos. Tacos to go. God, I wish this game didn't look as pixely as it does, but... I mean, it looks pretty decent for its time. It, it's really good. I've always liked the visuals of this game. Oh, my God. Drive, drive, drive. Ah! I don't remember. Is there an RX-7 in this game? I feel like we should just go full out initial D and just get a bunch of initial D cars. Speaking of which, I actually beat the game in an 8.6 the last time I played it. And, my god, <laughs> that was hilarious. S smoking the final boss of this game in 8.6 was one of the most satisfying things I think I've ever done, considering the fact that uh, the guy at the end of the game drives a GTO, and, you know, that an 8.6 going against a GTO, like, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Like, you'd have to do a lot of crazy-ass fucking tuning to an 8.6 to take on a GTO. And, I mean, I whooped his ass. And, of course, it's a video game, but people people bend the limits of cars all the time in real life. I mean, you can have a Volkswagen Golf go against the Lamborghini and the Golf would win. It's just like, what? What is this? What is this sorcery? You know, so... It's possible. It is very possible. Alright. So, I think we have to go see Rachel now. Come on, you fucking salad. You know what? Let's, uh, let's go find some more races. Because we're a piece of shit, and... I'm gonna just give my car or give the car to Rachel whenever I want to, because I'm a piece of shit and she can suck my dick. Thought. Anyway, let's go this way. I know there's an event somewhere in these little building areas. There's one. No, 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 reverse. There we go. Oh, wow, this is a tiny track. This one's really small. Yeah, so I, I don't really know what car I want to drive, like, through the entire game. Or, you know, have maybe a uh, SUV as a car to use. I have no idea what to choose from. Alright, let's do it. Go, drive! Is that a fucking Hyundai? Gross. Ah! Ah! Sorry, R34. Move, please. Ah! Taxi cab! You fucking piece of shit! Son of bitch! Come on. Drive, drive, drive. So, I have a serious question. Why is it through the Need for Speed games, we go to places that look like Las Vegas, like more than once. In Need for Speed The Run, we actually go to not Las Vegas, and then in Need for Speed Payback, we're in a place that looks like Las Vegas, but it's called Fortune Valley. In this game, there is a place that kind of resembles Las Vegas in a way, which I'm kind of near because there's a tower and some stuff. I, I don't know, I just, I get, I get... Las Vegas vibes from that tower right there. 
Um, and then, you know, Need for Speed Carbon, we also go to a place that looks like Nevada and has a Las Vegas style city with casinos and shit. So, it's like, what is the real Las Vegas in the Need for Speed universe? Is it officially Fortune Valley? Or is it the actual Las Vegas? I don't know. It's confusing. This is where I kind of get upset with the whole theories, timelines, and all the mumbo-jumbo that's made up about these games, because there's no official evidence to prove that all the games are connected, or at least some of the games are connected. It's kind of just, like, thrown at you, and it's like, well, wait, how does this make sense? Because there's still parts that are kind of, like, blurry, and there's just things that are just really weird. But I'm glad that there are, you know, little tad bit references and, like, peanut butter about... Uh, but I see peanut butter. Need for Speed Payback, and, uh, you know, there's references to Cross and some other things about, like, Ryan Cooper or something or whatever. So, you know, at least there's, like, stuff like that. Um, but, I mean, you know, that that's all we really have. There's not really anything else to explain some of the other questions that some people might have about, you know, the locations of the games and what are they actually supposed to resemble or, you know, do they all exist in the same universe officially, you know, it, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, wait, was that, was that a race event? God damn it. I hate how circle is the look back button. I mean, I have to, I have to let off the gas either way if I use X or the joystick to drive. And I use the joystick because it just feels better. Alright, so we're going to do some outruns, because these little fuckers are fun to race against. There he is. Me, little fucker. Is that Persia? 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 Can I at least race him or something? Maybe, maybe not. You little shit, come here. Race me! Whatever. Alright, fuck it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Free money. For, like, absolutely no reason. Just money lying on the ground. Alright, we got 50 bucks. Just for driving over some money. This is some real shit right here. I kind of want to find all the race events in this area before we go to Rachel, but at the same time, we're gonna hurt, we're, we're, we're gonna upset her even more by not being there in time, so... Um... We should probably just go that way, unless I see an event, and we are doing that event, and stuff. I used to not be able to drive through these fountains, I used to hit them all the time. Alright, well, we're almost to the car lot. Come on! Hey, there's the Japan tuning sign. It's one of my like, favorite signs in the game. It's also one of my favorite uh, car... Uh, car part performance aftermarket things. That is a weird little bubble. Is that like a office or something? Enter car shop. Rachel's gonna be a mad because Rachel is very mad all the time. She's so upset. are like going opposite directions. Sam claims you can drive. Maybe so, but I I liked Rachel. Ride. I thought Rachel was actually pretty good looking. Like there's Mia, Nikki, Rachel, the Asian chick from Undercover, and that's like well actually, you know, there's a chick from Underground One, Samantha, I think. And uh, honestly I think Nikki and Rachel are the best looking like models they had for this game or yeah game series um but nikki <laughs> nikki's my favorite anyway so what are we going to have as our first car a honda savic a mazda marauda a nissan 240 sx a toyota carola a ford Focus, 
or a Peugeot 206? I don't know. Well, first, let's see what has the best speed. Of course, the Nissan 240SX does. But do we want to drive this car? I don't know. I don't know what to drive. I mean, I kind of wish I had a Civic because then I can make it look like my car outside. Sadly, I don't have a Civic. I have an Accord. It's a 2009 Accord, so it's not going to exist in any Need for Speed games. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go with. Uh... I mean, I want to go with a Miata, but at the same time, I don't know. They're popular, but. Uh, so it's either the Miata or the 86, and I've already driven the 86 for years in this game, in several different games. It's just like, I'm tired of driving 86s. It's like, it's a great car. Or should we just go, I'm the American domestic racer and drive the Ford Focus? Which, I mean, this Ford Focus doesn't look that bad. Focus? Focus? What am I getting an accent? Okay, fuck it. You know what? We're just gonna go with the fucking. Fucking randomization. We're gonna go with the randomization. Randomization. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm not looking at the screen. I swear I'm not looking at the screen and no, I'm not dabbing. Dabbing is fucking retarded. I'm still trying to figure out which car I wanna use. And we're just gonna click X and then hit yes. And then we're gonna close our eyes completely and wait to get outside the loading screen to see what we got and I hope it's not something stupid I hope it's actually a car that I don't actually dislike and I think the game is still loading so I'm going to keep my eyes shut very tightly yes the game is still loading I glanced a little bit load faster I want to see what car I got come on come on load 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 Jesus, why does this take so fucking long to load? I'm... Uh, oh my god. Are you serious? I got the 8.6. I... Ah! Uh, I guess this car is just stuck with me. Well, at least Headless is going to be very happy that I got this car. Because this is his baby. Apparently. Well, actually, what I see apparently is... It, I, I know it's the baby. Uh, I, I closed my eyes so hard that it actually blurred my vision and this shit's gonna be really hard to see for like 30 more seconds that's that's a long time guys all right let's hurry up and get to the next area oh my god is there like a performance shop oh this is the garage we're going to I forgot I forgot where the garage is at. I mean, I'm sorry, not the garage. I forgot where the performance shop is at. Now, of course, this is a 86, but I don't really consider it an original OG 86 because of the fact that this is the American version, which is just called a Corolla. You know, because it's it's not the same. This is the American. American car, you know. Through the purple light. All right. I didn't like how they used purple as the garage because purple is a like one of my favorite colors. And I mean, sure, it was just special to have the garage as it, but at the same time, it's like I wanted to see purple more around the map. You don't see purple lights anywhere other than this spot. So it's like, oh, it makes me very sad. Alright, I don't want to watch any boring cutscenes of a woman telling me how to play the game. I know how to play the game. The, the, I don't care, there's nothing to do in the garage other than just to switch the cars that you have. And maybe some other save game garbage or whatever, but fuck it. Handbrake is R1. Awesome. Oh my god, the loading screens. I'm gonna have to do some, like, editing. I like the little tow cables that this car has. Okay, so, seriously, I need to find... 
a part shop or something because garage performance. Wow, okay. Yes, engage GPS system. Take me to the performance shop. We need to soup up this 86. I don't know when I'm gonna start unlocking cars, but um, I just know that I need to figure out what car I'm gonna drive when we start unlocking cars. <sighs> so if I remember, there was a body shop in this area, where, I think it's where that swiggle shit is. There's a... Oh, yeah, shoot, I have to go that way. Turn around, turn around! Yeah. The body shop's in the swiggle area, the paint shop is where the fountains are, the um, special items like underglow and stuff like that, that is kind of near this area. Um, it's like got a big ring on the building. It's, it's kind of like where you drive on the freeway. Oh, look at that! Money! Oh, is that a football field? It's so hard to see stuff on this map. Alright, to the performance shop. Let's get some performance upgrades to make our A6 super fast. Or, I mean, Corolla. Alright, the boost... I don't have enough money! What about a computer chip? Why do I have a discount? Whatever. Okay, does it actually matter which brands you use? Alright, so we're gonna go with... Oh, jeez. Fuel... Okay, fuel rail, fuel filter, fuel pressure regulator. So we're gonna go with HKS, and... Okay, whatever. I guess those have that. So yeah, ECU... It, that's, I think, what? Computer chip shit? Electronic computer... Upgrade? I don't know what ECU stands for. I thought it was like computer stuff, but... Okay, so what do we have here? This is... Our transmission. I don't have enough. Damn it. I probably don't have enough for this either. Yeah. Connectors, of course. Well, at least there's stuff for us to get for the time being. Are you sure you went to exit? Actually, let's go to the dino area, because, you know, this is one thing I have major respect for Underground 2 having, which no other Need for Speed game has after this one, and that is the dino test and the test track. I mean, that's so cool. You go to your very own dino test thing and a test track. You get to see what car your, or what drivetrain your car has. It's so cool. Okay, so drag, drift, street X. You are L race. Let's just do circuit. Yes. Alright. Yeah, it starts calculating at third gear. Alright. See, I, I don't know how to read these charts, I just know that it has a power flow of like. Uh, okay, so your power BHP and my torque. Okay, so that's what it does. Alright, so. Okay, max. Okay, max power is 130.0 bhp, 7,100 rpms, and then my max torque is 107.4 feet uh, lbs, and then you know 5,300 rpm. So I'm not really good with all the you know numbery shit and math or whatever, but um, I could say that it it's it's not fast. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So we're gonna just qu quit tuning and just get out of that shit. So let us return back to explore mode and do some races. I need to find a good race so that way I can get a bunch of money and unlock the Hummers. Because I think I want a Hummer. Hmm. Would it be possible to play the entire game with a Hummer? Maybe. 
we must find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, hey, look. Is that... Is that what I think it is? Ow, shit. Unless that's a raise. But, I don't know. Let's, let's go check. I'm, I think that might be the upgrade. Like, neon stuff. Am I correct or am I wrong? No! That is a drift race. Where the hell is that building with the circle? It's gotta be over here somewhere. It's the only way I can think of it is, is if it's over here. There it is! I found it! I fucking knew it! Alright, let's enter the car shop. I mean, special upgrade place, whatever. Custom gauges, something that I wish they could add to newer Need for Speeds. It's not even that hard to do. It's just a fucking image that you need to animate and put on the fucking screen. We can have different ones. It's not that hard. Something like this is super cool and would be awesome to have in newer games. But we don't have those options. Window tents locked. Lights. Oh. Ooh, actually, these are actually pretty, uh, good. You know, they, they clear the road. Nice pressure, hydraulics, trunks, spinners, hoods, doors. I remember when spinners were, like, really, like, I'd say, iconic for the time. Like, when they came out, they were just like, wow, this is cool as fuck. <laughs> Whose idea was this? This is kind of cool. And they were like... Uh, out of all the times that I've seen spinners in person, I've probably only seen three cars with spinners. And the first time I saw spinners was when I was told about spinners when I was younger. And it was like a maybe a couple days or weeks later, I saw spinners on a car. I'm like, whoa, that's cool. And then I played Underground too, and they had spinners. I'm like, wow, that's cool. <sighs> so. Uh, yeah, I remember... I remember when spinners became a thing. <laughs> Can I stop getting emails, please? Leave me the fuck alone! Okay, so... Let's go to a race. I don't want to do a drift race because this car... isn't efficient enough right now for drifting. And Jesus, these fucking box fans. Get oh! Is that another 86? Is that talking me? Is that the ricer talking me though? I think it is. All right, let's go kick their ass. Come on, my 86 is superior. Ah, oh, come on, pass him. Ah, yes, I have the lead. Yeah, I am the superior 86. I mean. Toyota Corolla because the 86 is, is uh, j j the j yeah never mind whatever uh, go go mm, no I hit a fucking box man no 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 fuck fuck come on go this way go 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 no, I lost the lead are you serious I'm gonna lose money drive go you fucking car how does Takumi drive this thing? I don't get it. It's so slow. This is like a super duper sporty version. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I mean, I know later on in the show he gets a new engine and stuff, but is the car like stock or two? Like, I don't remember. Whatever, anyway, we must catch him. Ah, oh, his body kit is slowing him down. I can get him. Come on. We're so close! We can't let him escape! Come on! Oh, we're getting closer! Oh, we're getting really close! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! You fucking ricer! Get back here! There he is! I see him! Who thinks he can escape? Come on! Mm. This shitty body kit's not giving me a good draft. 
Oh no! No! Come on! He juked me! He fucking juked me! Damn it, come on! See, paybacks races aren't cool compared to these outrun races. These outrun races are ahead of their time. Jesus, this 86 is like the Hulk. He just threw that taxi cab. Come on. Go. Come on. Yes. We're going to pass him. We did it. Under the sign. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, we're getting so ahead, we're gonna win! Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Yeah, we won! We got a hundred dollars! I can fucking pay off my rent! Fuck yeah! I think we should race some more of these cars in the street, because I can't, I'm too lazy to look around for races. Of course I could just use the map, but at the same time I still have to search. What the? Wait, what? What? I swear I didn't pass this guy yet. Is that? Is that a clone? Is that actually my car, but being driven by an AI? It's literally the same color. It doesn't have any body kit shit. Probably even has stock rims. Oh my god. No, it has it has a spoiler and a different exhaust. All right. Oh. Fuck! Go! Go, you fucking car! Drive! Damn it, we're being beaten by a stupid clone! No, we're gonna lose! God damn it. Did I lose money? I didn't even lose money, are you serious? I guess I should read these fucking emails because these. There's so many. Delete these messages! Delete all of them! I don't fucking need this garbage! I don't need tutorials. I am big boy. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I'm gonna have to go back and look and see if that message said get out of my car now. <laughs> Unless I said get back here with my car. But it's too late. I don't know what it said because I deleted the messages. So we're just gonna have to wait until I get to the editing. <laughs> That'd be funny. Get out of my car now. You have arrived at your destination. Get out of my car now. Hulk smash. Get out of my car. Urgh. Ah! You fucking can't. Okay. Alright, so. We must get back to the main city area layout. That way we can get to some races because there's one near me. Come on. Uh, we only have twenty dollars. I did lose money. I lost a hundred dollars. Oh my god! I didn't even look at the corner. All right, we're gonna race this guy. The freeway system pisses me off. It's the same dude. It is, but he's purple. I have the lead. I have the high ground. I have the high ground, Anakin. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. And we are going west. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Go! I know the map in this game isn't very big, but this is big for its time, and this is also the first free roam in a Need for Speed game, so it was, like, extremely impressive. I still feel like this map has some pretty big spots, and it's... It's awesome. I never get old, or never get tired of this map. It's really colorful. The lights are really nice. It's a really like low detailed game. Like there's not extreme amounts of details in the roads or like some of the buildings. Like there are in like Carbon. How everything kind of looks old. Everything looks really nice and pretty in this game. But like you know, you compare this to Carbon, and Carbon's got like more details in their buildings to where there were like low rundown areas that looked like really bad and stuff so like it, it made it made a, a big difference when it came to like visuals you know there was just a lot of details burger king 
I, I hope I don't get in trouble for having that in my video. I don't want fucking... I don't need the king from Burger King breaking down my door and asking why the fuck I'm having his logo from 2003 pop up in this video of mine, but whatever. Wait, is this 2003 or 2004? This is 2004 because Most Wanted came out in 2005. Oh, it's this guy again. It's the big... It's Darth Vader. He, he, his car literally looks like Darth Vader, except he has, like, green lights, so it's kind of weird looking. But, like, it, his body kit makes him look like Darth Vader, and he's like, Shh, Oh my god, it just passed, like, six taxi cabs. Jesus. Oh, we did it. We beat Darth Vader. His breathing receptator slowed him down. He's catching too much wind draft. What? How did Darth Vader get in front of me? Whatever. Urgh, you make me angry, Darth Vader. Urgh, I crash you. Urgh, ah, come here, you little fucking cunt. You cut off your son's arm, you piece of shit. Ah, I must pass him. Yes. Goodbye, Darth Vader. Urgh, may the force be with me. Jesus Christ. He's really using his force ability to catch up with me. Arr, must go this way. And take a right turn. Oh my god. Oh, he fucked up. He fucked up really badly. We can escape. Yes! You won the outrun. We killed Dark Vader again for a second time. Okay, so enough dilly dally. Let's actually go do some races. So. Circuits, drag, drift, sprint. Let's do the circuit. So if I remember, I think you just need to do all of the races and then eventually you just unlock more shit and then, you know, you progress through the game. This game didn't really have a story, it was just racing and customizing your car, so you know, it, it wasn't, like, it, the story wasn't as focused that much in this one compared to, like, Most Wanted and Carbon, which, I mean, I, I love Carbon, but it was a rushed game, and I, I wish it wasn't rushed at all. I think it would have been much better if it had more work put into it, because that was, like, one of the last good Need for Speed games, um, and, uh, you know, it, it was awesome. I mean... It could have been a much better game, but it it's far from being, like, the best Need for Speed in the world because it's rushed, so... Um, because I feel like Most Wanted is better than Carbon because Most Wanted had a better detailed story. It was worked on better. It had different events and things to where Carbon, it was... It was just... Like, there was a lot of cool features that made it ahead of its time, but it didn't put enough emphasis on, like, police events. It was just racing. So, it made the game feel a lot smaller compared to Most Wanted, to where you had racing and cop events in Most Wanted. So, um, you know, that's where it, it felt, like, really rushed. Um, but, you know, I will, will say, though, for playability and the fact that, you know, Carbon was one of my favorite Need for Speeds, it, it's, a, it's a good game. Um, even though it has its flaws, but, you know, every, every game has its flaws, like, most wanted, um, like, I didn't really have a problem with it, I just wish there were some, like, more stuff to do after you beat the game, like, I don't really know if there were any race events you could do with the BMW, 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 uh, once you get it back, like, I don't really remember, not, Carbon just ended, like, you could even, like, take the Audi Quattro and have it as a car, which, you know, it, it kind of sucked. Like, you just unlock that car in quick race mode, which was really gay. Um, same thing with the M the BMW. Um, so, you know, it, it made it kind of shitty. But anyway, into the video we're doing now, I'm kicking ass. Yes, I am the fastest Corolla in the game. Shit. Come on. Uh, we gotta do one more lap. Fuck. 
Ah, the rain. I don't know if the rain actually affects your driving in this game at all. I don't think it does. It's a cool cosmetic, though. The roads actually do look wet in this game when it rains, which is actually really cool. Ah! No! You fucking bastard! Damn it! Go, 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 go! Drive! Ah! We have to win the race, even though I'm so far ahead by like 19 seconds. Ah, my ball! Go, go, go! Shit! And we did it. That was three minutes? That didn't even feel like three minutes. We just beat a bunch of other Corollas. Look how magical that is. Magic. Oh, I need to see the time of this. Excuse me. Oh, God. Ah. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, we have... I'd say we can maybe push the envelope a little bit and play a little bit over an hour, but we're hitting a 10 minute mark until it's been an hour. Alright, so we are at the Hotel Plaza. Alright, um, where should we go now? I have $570. I guess, oh, there's a sprint race over here. I didn't notice that it was on that part of the map. It looked like it was on the freeway, but of course I'm blind idiot. Do do oh there it is. Skirt! All right, time for another sprint race. Ha 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 ha! I've seen some mods for this game. And a lot of them are very impressive. Like, very, very impressive. Like, overhauls of visuals and awesome stuff. It's really cool. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Drive. I always thought it was funny how Underground 1 and 2 had startup people. Most wanted didn't have anybody. The cars just, I guess, took off. And then in... Uh, Carbon, there was a startup lady, and then Pro Street, there was a startup lady, and then I think in Undercover, there was nobody. The cars just started up on their own, and then after that, I don't remember really anything. I know that 2015, I don't think they had people on the startup. Um, peanut Butter, or I, Payback has a countdown, and then for drag races they have somebody that starts with the flag, um, which looks like a weird hillbilly looking dude that also looks like Razor for some reason. Ah, have it your way. What? They used that slogan back in 2004? I thought the have Burger King have it your way slogan was used like... Like, I remember them using it when I was, like... 13, 14? And well, I was playing this game when I was 6? Yeah, I was like 6 or 7 when I think I was playing Underground 2 because it was... Let's see. Um, it had to have been 2000... It's 2004. Yeah, so it was like 2005. No, I was actually playing this in 2004. So yeah. Yeah. And then when I was in 4th grade, that was 2000... 2006, I think, was when I was in fourth grade, and I, I was playing Most Wanted Underground 2 and one Underground No. Actually, that's when I got all three of the games because there was a special edition where you it came with all three games. It came with Underground 1, 2, and Most Wanted, and they're all PS2 games, of course. And I still, I wish I still had that thing that came all in, in the sleeve, but I still have my Most Wanted, of course, in Underground 1. Um, 
but yeah, they're still playable, which is fucking awesome, you know, like, it's so cool. Um, and then, oh man, I don't even remember, like, when I was first playing this. I think it was, I had to have been at least six when it was, when this game came out. Um, but I remember, like, how fun it was playing this game as a kid. It was, it was really fun. Alright, so I think we're going to do one more race and then we're going to end this video because it's going to be kind of hard to edit an hour long video. I mean, it's, it's not going to be that hard, but it's just saving it takes forever to do and it's a pain in the ass. So, it just, it takes a long time and it's like, a, I don't like it. Okay, what is this? Okay, Bayview Specialty Shop, Window 10! Yay! Okay, return to gameplay. Is there anything else? Game tips. Rachel, unlocks. Okay, so we're gonna keep the unlocks box opened up constantly after certain shit. Because I do need to figure out when the hell they're gonna add more cars. So that way I can get my fucking Hummer. That's it, yeah. We're, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna play the game with a fucking Hummer the entire time, because... Mmm. Alright, drag race. Uh, reverse. Reverse! There we go. Oh my god, it's a drag race. We know how to play it. So, let's see, I think we shift with R1 and R2. I mean, L... L2 and R2. L2, R2. Alright. God, like, they're, damn, that chick has, like, big ass, Jesus. Are you guys ready? Drive! Alright, let's see, shift up. Oh, that was a bad shift. Oh, God. This is gonna be hard, because I don't have nitrous. Come on. Yes! Switch lanes! I used to, like, constantly move the fucking stick when I would switch lanes. Not knowingly that I just have to touch it. Wait, why does this look like awfully different from anywhere I've seen before? Unless have I driven in this area in the game? Unless this actually goes to a different area of the game that you're not allowed to go to. I don't know, I I don't remember, but Um Yeah, I think this is like an area that you're not even allowed to go to in the uh the game. If I think now that I remember. Um I don't know, whatever. I, I just remember the power plant, the other little area that's like the beach front, the mountain, and stuff like that, but you know, I don't know. Ugh. I got a gross scab on my arm. It's really gross. Blah, 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 Loading screen, loading screen. The GTO has a Darth Vader face. Alright, um, I think it's been probably a pretty good amount of time, so, uh, I would like to thank y'all for coming to the first episode of Need for Speed Underground 2. The series, yeah. Anyway, bye! <laughs>